Yeah, Leonard Elwood, he always has like colorful yeah. glasses and yeah. shit like that. So I'm, shit. yeah, I'm thinking about Smart. that. We'll Smart. see. This is Dose Sanders from No Finish Sports Media. I'm here with Coach Sal. Coach, congratulations on the win. In your own words, how would you describe that fight? I will give it a, like a B minus, to be honest, on a, on a Richter scale. You know, like I expect Mike to. We know Mike. We see Mike every single day in the gym. The way that he works, the way that he approaches the game, he puts in 100% in there. You know what I mean? And I feel like he made the fight harder than he needed to be. Um, the the game plan was to really just go ahead and inch him in and start working his body, kind of bully the guy out. But um, you know, Mike had like, I guess other plans, but it worked out to our benefit. Uh, he got, we got the win. He was counter punching him for days, and um, that's what got us the win. When uh, the sixth round approached, did you think you already had the fight in the back? Well, it felt like it was close. Oh, the fight was definitely, definitely close. Um, Mike started really turning on in the second, the late second to third, fourth, and also fifth. Uh, he started going at it, so it was good. It, we, I thought we had that. We were at that point where we we're we we're gonna get that win for sure. But then, um, but obviously, we heard the score cards. It was good. It was a good like sweep. But um, we can get better. Right. We can get better for sure. And it's good because he got the rounds in, he got the experience in, and that's all that matters, right? Was this a better fight than the Jorge Diaz fight? I think so. He's improved so much. His own mentality has improved a lot. You know, like it, it, he needs to go ahead and. There's different little, there's little adjustments that we're going to make, and there's little things that we're going to go ahead and regroup on. But as time goes on, you're going to see a, a fully evolved fighter in Michael Cabado. Uh, in the fourth round, I feel like that was, in my personal opinion, I think that was his uh, best round. But afterwards, I feel like uh, Rodriguez came back and uh, you know put the pressure on. Did you feel like Michael had any moments to finish that fight? Well, Michael was counterpunching. He was very effective. I mean, he was touching him up. If you look at him backstage, like he's marked up. So it goes to show like Mike was actually going ahead and catching him off off balance. So I, I, it was a close fight, it was a competitive fight, but to be honest, I felt like we came out victorious. And um, I'm looking at it more in a beneficial aspect. A guy like oh, a guy like Oscar Val, Val, whatever his name is, yeah. it don't matter. You know what I mean? Like we're we're looking for bigger and better names. And with performances like that, are we gonna get there? We have to reevaluate. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go back to the gym. We're gonna go back to square one, and we're gonna start seeing what we're going wrong in and what are those mental barriers that he's going through in order for him to go ahead and, uh, and for him to explode and get those, you know, fan-friendly knockouts. You know, Michael, it looks like he's always going to be the smaller fighter. So what adjustments is he going to have to make going forward? As time goes, his style is going to adjust. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's still like a new pro, you know? He, he was only had like four fights as a professional and this is his first six rounder. He looked a lot more comfortable in the six rounds too. So I think it benefits him as the rounds go. That really, really helps him. So as time goes, he, he's, his style is going to start adjusting and he's going to start feeling a lot more uh, you know, elusive as the rounds go, like six rounds, eight rounds, ten rounds. And uh, you can see a better Michael Cabado for sure. And, you know, last fight was against Jorge Diaz. This fight was kind of like that bridge fight for a right. rematch. Do you think right. uh, it warrants that? 100%. Look, again, I keep telling you, I feel like, you know, we shouldn't be ducking nobody. If we really think we're going to be anybody in this game, we can't be ducking. But it's got to be the right fight at the right time, at the right moment. You know what I mean? I, I, it's not about Jorge Diaz. It's not about, it doesn't matter to him. We, to us, it makes no difference. Mm-hmm. What matters to us is Michael Cabado and the progression of Michael Cabado. A guy from Mexico can come in, he can be great, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, we can come in. We, if we really think we're going to go ahead to those levels, to those extents, we've got to be able to perform the way that we should be performing. And um, it's not about him, it's about us. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep improving as time goes. All right, and last question. In the locker room, I feel like the athletic commission was bothering you guys a bit over, I don't know what it was. Do you want to talk about that quickly? I mean, there's nothing really. It's just like... Uh, did it annoy you? They, they, didn't, they didn't know what time it was. But, like, uh, it's okay. That's no worries. But uh, it's cool. He, he, it, athletic commission is supposed to be like that. They're supposed to be the authoritative role. So I don't want to say anything bad about any of the athletic commissions or anything. Ontario Athletic Commission is the best commission in the world. I heard it here and, first. And, uh, um, and yeah, man, we're going to go from there, bro. Like, it's all good. It's all love. And, you know, we're getting used to all the friendly faces out there, so it's cool. All right, well, thank you so much for this interview, Coach Sal. Best of luck in the future. Sal, as usual. Let's get it. No finish. Always out there. Always going ahead and showing the coverage on all the mans. Respect to the, the Dosange and the whole team, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Right now here, too. Let's get it. <laughs>